What is up my Transit Dash Gaming fans? The Retro Cup is back in the Go Battle League once again. Now it is basically the Great League except it bans all Dark, Steel, and Fairy type Pokemon. For today's video, I'll be commentating over my own set of battles in the Retro Cup. And trust me guys, this will definitely be a good one because I had a lot of fun running Midnight Form Lycanroc in this meta. You guys have to see just how strong it is. But anyways, as you can see on the screen here, I am running Lycanroc along with this team, which also has Greedent on the safe swap which is a lucky hundo for some reason, and my trusty Hypno as the closer. But yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this set of battles. Oh, and by the way, I unfortunately tanked quite a bit of raiding uh, in the Go Battle League. So, I remember about a week ago, I managed to get myself up to uh, the 2450... Um, rating mark, and I was so close to reaching veteran rank, but unfortunately, I ended up sucking for a few sets, which uh, eventually brought my um, ELO rating down to the 2000s range, which is very unfortunate, but right now, I'm working really hard to make my way back up with the ELO. So guys, wish me luck on that, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the first battle. Okay, so in the first round of the Retro Cup video, I'm up against Shiny Pepe 27. Okay, we have Midnight Lycanroc versus Greedent. Now, this is a good lead because my fast move is Counter, which does super effective onto a normal type like Greedent. Now, what I am going to decide to do here is build up to the stone edge which will definitely surprise my opponent if it lands okay i let a body slam actually no i let a crunch go through my bad okay i'm building up to the stone edge and going for a psychic fangs bait let's see what the opponent does the opponent actually calls it and decides not to shield oh i tried to go for another psychic fangs because i was worried about getting hit by another move but unfortunately gets cmp tied and i'm gonna have to commit the shield on the crunch. Okay, thank goodness it wasn't a CMP time I end. We're able to counter down the Greedent, and the opponent comes in with Shadow Alola Marowak. It is a brand new Pokemon which is very strong. I'm going for a Psychic Fangs bait. The opponent actually shields. I, I think he was afraid of a Stone Edge. Oh man, imagine if I actually went for the Stone Edge though. Okay, we're going for our second Psychic Fangs, that will debuff his defense, uh, my Life Rock goes down, Greedent comes back in, and the opponent switches into his Macargo. Right now, I am gonna, um, spam away at these charge moves, you guys can see just how freaking spammy, uh, Greedent is. Okay, I'm coming in with my Hypno now. Oh yeah, because, uh... Of course, Greedent is going to have a very good matchup against the Shadow of Lola Marowak. Okay, I no-shield the Rock Tomb, because I know that he was going to throw it. Okay, going for a Shadow Ball, this will do a good amount of neutral damage to the Macargo. Let's see if it's enough to take it out. It is not enough to take it out, but Tooth Confusion should do it. Oh, but not before Macargo throws another charge move. I'm still gonna no shield it. And it's gonna be the overheat. Ooh, that takes out my green end, but that's fine. Able to one bullet seed down the Macargo, and yeah. The opponent the opponents knew that was over and actually leaves the match. So GG's to my opponent on the first game. Holy cow, you guys can see how well this team works together. Can't believe I actually came up with this off the top of my head. I did not copy this team off of anyone, by the way. Okay, let's go ahead and get into round two. In the second battle, we are up against... Yao Asusu 5151, I think. We have Lycanroc on the lead versus Dragalgy. Now, this is not a good matchup for the Lycanroc. 
And so I'm gonna tr switch out into my Greedent. Oh man, these Dragon Tails are really gonna add up though. Okay, the opponent throws the charge move right away. I know Shield because I know for sure it's gonna be an Aqua Tail. And it is gonna be the Aqua Tail, which does a good amount of damage. The opponent comes in with their own Greedent. Oh no, I may actually lose this mid-game matchup right here, which is unfortunate. Going for my first crunch. Okay, that does solid damage. Okay, the opponent now throws their charge move. Oh my goodness. It's the clash of the spam lords. You guys can see how quickly we get to our moves. Okay, I'm now going to go for back-to-back -back body slams, trying to do as much damage to the opponent as possible. Okay, first one goes through. Going for my second body slam. Let's see what the opponent does here. The opponent still decides to no shield. Okay, now the opponent's gonna throw a charge move. And wait, did I shield here? I actually do commit the shield because I believe that I can actually bullet seed down the opponent's readings. Which I can! How did the opponent not get to a second uh, body slam? Okay, Dread Gouge comes back in. I'm going for a crunch. Uh, do some nice chip damage onto it. Okay, that's some solid damage. Okay, now we are perfectly aligned uh, to the Hypno because the Hypno is going to do super effective damage to it with Confusion. Okay, n yeah, now the opponent's going to farm up quite a bit and go for the Outrage, which I'm still going to no shield because it is not going to take me out and I definitely want to save that shield for the uh, Light Rock. Okay, the opponent comes in with Oranguru. Now, I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball to do some nice resistant chip damage because I really don't need to throw, to throw a charge move against, uh, what was that other Pokemon? I forgot what it was. I'm gonna come back in with my Light Rock and throw a Psychic Fang at it. This will get the shield from the opponent. Yup, and it's gonna lower the defense. Okay. Uh, do I no shield here? Oh, I actually shield the foul play that comes in, but this looks like a pretty good match for the Lichen Rock. Okay, going to be careful to not let a confusion sneak through. I'm going for my second Psychic Fangs. This will get the second shield from the opponents. Can I counter down the Oranguru? Oh, unfortunately, unfortunately we're not able to. Now, hopefully the Hypno will be able to handle this, which I don't think it's likely. Okay, the opponent comes back in with the Dragalge. Oh, but the Dragon Tail actually comes through. Yup, and the opponent is gonna be able to confusion down my Hypno. So, that is a GG's. What an unfortunate loss right there. I feel like I may have had a better chance at this if my Hypno actually had uh, better PvP IVs. Yeah, like... This Hypno that I'm running isn't running with optimal PvP IVs. Okay, um, actually let me rewind the footage and uh, yeah, this is the, f the third battle and we're matched up against Marcelin CFR94. Okay, we have Midnight Lycanroc versus Linoon. Now, Linoon is a normal type which means it's a very good matchup for the Lycanroc. The opponent safe switches into Oranguru. Oh, but I do not switch out right away. I'm going for my Stone Edge attack. Holy cow, it's going to do a lot of neutral damage to the Oranguru if it lands. The opponent does not respect it. The Stone Edge lands. Oh, but we're not able to counter down before it gets to a move. So, I think we'll have to commit a shield here. Oh, we actually don't commit a shield. We barely survived the foul play. We're able to counter down a Light Rod. That is amazing. Yeah, Lycanroc is um, considerably glassy, and uh, it, yeah, because of its rock type, eh, it has quite a bit of weaknesses. Okay, Metacham is going to come in and take out my Lycanroc. I'm going to come in with my Hypno. Yeah, Hypno is going to have the best matchup um, versus the Metacham, because obviously the Greedit doesn't want to see it. Okay, yeah, I don't even need to shield anything from the uh, Metacham. Okay, 
Lion Yu does come back in. I'm going to switch into my Greedence. Oh, this is amazing because his Shadow Claws are going to be double resistant on me. Okay, I'm going to no ship, and I believe it's going to be a Thunder, which it is. Yeah, Lion Yu's, I know for sure they usually run with um, Shadow Claw, Grass Knot, and Thunder. Yeah, even though Lion Yu's are uh, pretty much a rare spice pick uh, in the Go Battle League. The opponent shields my first body slam. I'm gonna go for my crunch attack now. Yeah, I can literally just burn away all the opponent's shields uh, with the charge moves that um, I'm gonna throw at it. Okay, the opponent throws the charge move a bit quicker this time, and it's gonna be the Grass Knot. Oh, Greedent barely survives. Able to get off my next body slam. Oh man, does Greedent have enough health to get to his next body slam? Oh man, this is gonna be super close. We simultaneously switch to our Pokemon at the back. Now it's Hypno versus Metacham. I'm going for my Shadow Ball. This will boom, take out the Metacham. And it's just the Lightning. Okay, the opponent concedes the match now because it is over for him all right so ggs to my opponent on this game okay let's go ahead and get into the uh fifth round i think all right in the next battle we're matched up against the gunslinger 21 we have lichen rock on the lead versus mew okay yep this is not a good matchup we're gonna have to get out of there right away Okay, yep, we're gonna say switch into our Greedent. Unfortunately, we're met with a Primeape. Now, this may seem bad, but fighters in the meta here are usually relatively glassy, except for Metacham. So we can just spam away at these body slams, and we have to get a shield here at some point from the opponent. Oh, we unfortunately let a counter sneak through. Okay, I'm going for my second body slam. This does get the shield from the opponent. Okay, the opponent does throw the charge move here, which is good. Because he's probably afraid of another body slam. It's gonna be the legacy move cross shot, which will take out my Greedent. Gonna wait out the switch timer for a little bit. Do I come in the Lycan Rock? Oh, I come in with a Hypno, actually. Oh yeah, because I forgot. Lycan Rock is weak to counter, I'm so stupid. Okay. Primeape is going to throw his Night Slash attack that does a fair bit of damage to my Hypno, but Hypno doesn't care, able to Confusion down the Primeape. Let's see what the opponent does now. The opponent decides to come in with a Mew. Okay, that's good because obviously the Lycan Rock does not want to see it. Okay, the Mew throws a Charge Move. I may have to shield here. I do shield, and it's going to be a Dragon Claw. Yeah. Currently, Mew and the Retro Cup meta are running Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Wild Charge. Okay. The Mew throws a second Dragon Claw that was uh, a bit too fast for Wild Charge or even Flame Charge. Okay. Going to throw a Shadow Ball because that's the only thing I can do now. The opponent may decide to shield this. Oh, they actually let the Mew get the um, Shadow Ball through. The opponent comes in with Frostlass in front of my Lycanroc. I'm going for the YOLO Stone Edge. Does the opponent respect the Stone Edge from Lycanroc? Does the opponent know? They do not! Boom! One shot to the Frostlass, and that is going to be a good game. GG's to my opponent. Wow, an amazing Stone Edge landing onto a one-shielded Frostlass. That was amazing. Oh, we still have one more battle left. Okay, cool. This will be the final battle for this video. So yeah, let's go. Okay, in the fifth round, we're matched up against Pika Hyrdia. We have Lycanroc versus Defense Worm Deoxys. Okay, we need to get out of here as well. Yeah, this is actually a good safe spot because both Greedens and Hypno have uh, considerably good matchups versus the DD. The opponent comes in with Wall Rain. Okay. Now, the opponent is going to take Super Effective for my Bullet Seeds, and I can just spam and spam away at him with my Chargers. 
Oh, the crunch actually gets the defense drop on the wall ray, which is amazing. The opponent throws a charge wave under a no shield. It is just going to be the icicle spear, so that is a good call. Okay, going for my body slam, that is going to do a lot of damage with the opponent's shield. It would come close to taking it out. The opponent no shields. Okay, holy cow, I think I can just bullet see it down, but not before the opponent throws a second icicle spear, which I will have to shield. Okay, gonna be able to bullet see down the wall rain. That is amazing. Let's see what the opponent comes in with now. The opponent decides to come in with his lick its tongue. Okay, but that's fine. Licks are gonna be double resisted. I can just uh, go ahead and just dump my energy onto the uh, lick its tongue. These crunches and body slams are gonna start to add up. Okay, the opponent does um, realize his mistake and decides to throw a charge move. Yeah, Lick of Tongue definitely can't farm down my Greedens. Greedon goes down, I'm gonna come in with my Lycan Rock. Oh, DD comes back in. I'm going to aggressively swap to my Hypno. Okay, wow, this is amazing. Uh, counters are gonna be resisted, Psycho Boost is gonna be resisted. Uh, only Rock Slides and Thunderbolts will do neutral damage to my Hypno. The opponent throws a Rock Slide. Hypno still doesn't care. Now we're able to farm down to two Ice Punches. I think I'm gonna bait here and uh, go for a Shadow Ball next. Okay, the opponent does shield the first Ice Punch. Good. Okay, I'm gonna no shield the next charge move as well. It is still gonna be a Rock Slide. Okay, going to farm up to a Shadow Ball, and I'm going to throw it. Holy cow. Let's see what the opponent does here. If it lands, it's going to be huge. The opponent no shields. That is amazing. Okay, let's see if we can confusion down the DD. We're not able to. The opponent swaps to his Lick of Tongue. I'm going to switch back into my Lycan Rock. Going to throw a Psychic Fang. This will debuff his defense. Hopefully, we can counter down the uh, Lick of Tongue. Oh, uh, Lick of Tongue is everywhere because it is way too bulky. Lickitung throws a charge move. I may have to shield here because it could be a power whip which will do super effective but it's unfortunately a resisted body slam but we're still able to counter down a Lickitung. Yep, the defense Deoxys is still alive. It's gonna throw a charge move. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be that rock slide. Oh that actually does quite a bit of damage to the Lycan rock though. Okay, going to throw another Psychic Fang. Okay, this will definitely get the final shield from the opponents. Hopefully we can counter it down. If not, it's, it will be fine because we still have Hypno, but we're able to counter down the Defense Deoxys, and that's going to be a good final round. GG's to my opponents. Woo! An amazing set of battles, and yeah, the commentary was insane here. Okay, my encounter is going to be a Mewtwo. It is unfortunately 2351 CP, which is not a hundo. Yep, and this is where I cut the recording. Oh man, okay. Yeah, guys, I'm still going all out for these Mewtwo raids. I really want that um, Master League IV one because my shiny 14, 14, 15 isn't going to be good at all. But yeah, what an amazing set of battles with Midnight Form Lycan Rock. In the Retro Cup. That was amazing. But yeah. hope I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like the video. Comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It will help me out a whole lot. But yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you on the next video.